I just came out here to lock up my chickens and there's a big black rat snake up inside my garage there was a starling nest in there and uh, they, the starlings actually kept falling out of that nest so I kept picking them up and putting them back in there and uh, you know I gotta be honest I grew a little attached to them but uh, I'm not gonna stop a native snake from eating non-native non birds snakes gotta eat too right so I guess that settles the issue with these starlings but uh, yeah there he is I'm looking all over for one of these and now here's one just hanging out in my garage very cool there's a little box turtle I just moved out of the road this is my first live box turtle of the year I've only seen a one dead in the road and I'm out here I'm actually picking up some quail to keep my male quail gadnuck happy getting some girlfriends there he goes alright here's the second box turtle just heading on my way home I didn't think this would end up being a turtle trip but you know it is the time of year so I guess anytime you go out in the road you're, you might find some turtles and uh yeah pretty cool gorgeous looking look at those markings she's nice and wet so they really stand out yeah she's a beauty all right I was hoping I might see another one that's pretty cool it's pretty early in the morning I had to come out here and get these quail at nine in the morning in the torrential downpour that we're having and I wasn't looking forward to it but the turtles make it worth it so this is the reality of the situation herping in Maryland on a marshy back road flies just everywhere you can't get out of the car I don't even know why I'm here I don't know what I'm doing biting flies just biting flies endless biting flies yeah I'm like I coated myself in bug spray before I left the house and then I had it, the can outside with me, and I'm just like spraying that in the air. And they just do not care. They are coming at me. Look at this. That's right, shoe flies. Get, don't bother me. I want to find snakes and turtles. I don't want to get bitten by flies. So, this is kind of a new situation for me. Ew, that's disgusting. The scenery is beautiful. I'd love to actually get out there and explore, but... It's disgusting! Yeah, it is disgusting. There's just way too many flies. When we move, it attracts more of them. And I didn't get a better idea of what we're dealing with. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but... Look at all the ones just... These are all biting flies, man. These are all looking for my blood. And they're just hanging out on the mirror. How do you southern herpers deal with this? Because I'm from New York and we don't have and we have biting flies, but just not like this. This is insane. So, if there's a particular brand of bug repellent you use, you know, let me know what it is. Because I'm, I've used the cutters and I've used the off deep woods and nothing seems to work. Check this out guys, right in front of my own house, I mean some backstory here I guess, I just got back from about an hour of road cruising and didn't see anything as far as reptiles go, plenty of deer and rabbits and biting flies, but uh, no reptiles and then I came home and I'm just walking back from the mailbox and decided to check the wren house I have on the tree right here and there's a black rat snake. It's not the same one that lives in my garage, or that I've seen in my garage. 
uh, significantly smaller, but he has been very chill, very polite, and he is just beautiful. This is the first time I've ever had a wild black rat snake in my hands, so I'm pretty stoked about this guy. I've seen them. But look at him. What a gorgeous snake. And now i got to go find a place to put him. Uh, I'll probably just put him out back behind my house. But yeah, no musking, no biting. He's been in my hands now. I actually took him up into the house to show my wife and daughter. And absolute gentleman. I can't believe people are afraid of these things. What a beauty. Yeah, so I decided to bring him inside just to get some better lighting. Get a better look at this gorgeous little rat snake. Look at that. Look at that face. I've already talked to one set of my neighbors, telling them that if they ever come across these guys, or any snake for that matter, just to come over here and get me, because I know that they're around, and I'd hate for one to get killed right here next to my house when I could do something about it, but I'm guessing we have to go over to the other neighbors and let them know that I'm here to help. Look at that. Because I gotta take him back outside, but you know, I live right in town, so. His fate is far from certain this close to so many houses lawnmowers, cars, people, dogs. What are their chances, you know what I mean? So I'll take him out back, I guess. There's the woods right behind my house, and maybe I'll take him out that way. Look at him. Hey there, little buddy. Alright. Time to take this beauty back where he belongs. Uh, normally I would, I prefer to release these kinds of things, like, right where I found him. Yeah, I think he knows he's outside now and he's saying, uh, it's time to put me down. But, like I was saying, I don't want to put him back in my front yard, right by the road, right by the neighbor's house. So I'm taking him in the, my backyard. As you can hear, it's pretty much a swamp back here. But there's a stand of trees, and uh, I'm going to stick them in there. And we'll see how that works out for him. Hopefully he can make a life for himself out here. I just set him right on the ground there, and let him go on his way. And I hope I see him again. I really do. Oh, and uh, while I walk home through my swamp yard, let me just take a minute to review Cutter's Bug Spray. Okay, 10 hour mosquito protection, my ass. I literally put that stuff on less than 10 minutes ago and I am getting bit up back here. As you can see from all the standing water, there is an abundance of mosquitoes currently in the great state of Maryland. So, I'm probably getting some ticks on me too. I don't mow back here for obvious reasons. Well, the obvious reason being that it's wet, but the other reason being I just don't like to mow my lawn. I'd rather attract snakes and birds and stuff with it. So anyway, I'm gonna walk back home. Funny how I get back from an hour herping trip only to find a snake in my own front yard. That, that always seems to be the way it is though, you know? And I gotta say, one of the best herping locations for me so far has been my own backyard. Well, with the spadefoot toads and got skinks living here and that's the second rat snake I've seen. So, pretty cool stuff. I'll have to come out here with a flashlight more often. <laughs> 